Hello everyone, welcome to uh, yet another Cave Diver React, a dual Cave Diver React, just like we did on the last time. We got a lot of good feedback, Woody, from, from the last video. People like to see the dual reaction. Mainly I love because the dual reaction. Mainly because I was just laughing hysterically at your yeah. reaction. I still I'm still <laughs> disturbed by it. This was you may fans may not remember, but it was the mask squeezed and I mean his eyes looked like a raccoon and he had a vein exploding out of his head from not knowing how to do a simple pressure release from That's a right. mask squeeze. Like and by the way, here's the skill. That's all you had to be taught in his confined water class was how to blow out of your nose. Correct. I don't correct. understand it still how yeah. he didn't do that. But anyway. It was bananas. And people were reacting you to were it. You were dying. Like, what was that? Uh, yeah, no, it was hilarious. Uh, but just like we did the last time, I put together um, a video that I want Woody to, to check out because this okay. video is from an instructor teaching a stress and rescue class just to you know tell you oh, what's happening It's one of my here. favorite classes. Well, my favorite class, too. It's such a great class. It's awesome. It changes right? divers. It really does. So. Before, before we get started, though, okay. just give us like a 30-second summary of what the stress and rescue class is supposed to. What's the oh, objective okay. of it? Well, listen, people can have various different issues when they're diving. So ultimately, it's to deal with tired divers. It could de help you deal with a panic diver. And this is both underwater and at the surface. And then finally, ultimately, it deals with the unconscious diver who may need full CPR, including giving rescue breaths on the surface and then ultimately getting them back onto land or a boat where you're giving them full CPR. Right. So it's a very positive class because think about it. You're basically teaching people to right now at the beginning, it's all about you and you're sort of coming out of that shell and it becomes what about helping other people that makes you a very valuable buddy. So I don't know what this video is, but it should be a very positive experience right? because yeah, you're going to deal with some stressful situations, but you learn how to deal with those in a safe. We never, ever do stress and rescue, by the way, in a non-safe environment. So right. that's what the class is generally about. There's more details, but you asked for it in 30 seconds. Yep, absolutely. So this guy right here on the left that you'll see on the video on the left um, he's the instructor. He's teaching three divers. He has three students. Okay. So they're just on their knees at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know where this is, right on the rocks. I see like a plane of sand over there. I think it would have been better for their knees, but whatever. He's on the rocks and he's about to conduct a lesson of some kind in this rescue class. Okay. All right. Now this video is when you watch it on YouTube is sped up like two or three times or something. It's super fast. I've slowed it down just to give us an opportunity to react to it. It's still okay. going to be pretty fast, but it's going to be less fast than what it was, uh, what the original one is. Also, they have some super loud song playing, so it's muted. So it's just going to be our voices uh, on this one. But um, All right. My first reaction, though, is that I'm trying to – it looks like it could be a while ago. I'm just looking at their gear like – I don't know what kind of computer that is on the students, the guy on the right. It's like arm. an oceanic or so something. Like I don't know. It, it looks a little bit of older gear, but doesn't okay. matter. The but, the bottom yeah. line is these guys are recreational divers. They're not military, you know, fighting underwater or anything. Okay. But this instructor takes an interesting approach. Let's watch. Okay. It's like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me mute that because, like I said, it's super loud music. It's just annoying. So let's go. All right. So he's like, all right, get together, ready for the class. You ready? Here we go. Full on. What? Stop. Stop. Stop the video. <laughs> what? what in the world is the instructor doing? I feel like. Wait, I seriously. This wasn't. <laughs> what? This, this wasn't like my That's class. That's the start of the video? That's how they started that lesson. Okay. I no, mean, you didn't tell me it was going to be like this. Listen, <laughs> this is going to put me in a really bad mood. If I think now, after seeing that, the theme is going to be the instructor is going to be an idiot. And he just ripped off the student's mask. All three. Listen, before we continue, I want to give you my initial reaction. The instructor should be fired. <laughs> this is not what a stress and rescue. Gus, this is not what a stress and rescue class is about. Yeah. You don't rip off 
three students mask at the start of a stress and any time that's not the spirit of a stress and rescue class you're supposed to have realistic scenarios of panic but uh what yes. what realism there is in without, somebody ripping three people's masks at the same time without getting hurt think about all the ramifications right there first of all he has lost total control of these three students you do realize that right look where he is the other two are, uh, how do you know that the one of them didn't drop their mask? What if there's a current? The mask blew away. You, you haven't seen anything. We're like five seconds I know, in. I know. I, I'm already like yeah. nothing to do with stress and rescue, what he just did. Basically, you know what that is about? This is one of those kinds of instructors that does this because they're feeding their own ego. Yeah. Look how tough I am. This he is what I learned on the SEALs. And he probably <laughs> went through this in his stress and rescue class. Never will you see this in one of our stress and rescue classes. Yeah, and I was just thinking, like, so maybe, stupid. I'm maybe actually, these are maybe these are like instructor candidates, like just playing along, just like wrong. To, 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 yeah, doing it wrong, but they're all like instruct. No, but like the name of the class is on the video, so it's diver stress and rescue. This is a class. It's really conducting. wrong, and I got to tell you, this is the kind of stuff that turns people off from diving. So those that are watching that are new divers. This maybe this I don't know anything about this video. Maybe it's old. This is not what happens in a stress and rescue class. It shouldn't happen in a stress and rescue class. And it doesn't teach you anything other than this instructor is a. You know what he is. Yeah. All right. Let, I'm sorry. All, All right. right. So the, the guy, this guy is like, I lost my mask completely. So he's like, OK, well, you lost your mask. This guy can help you he rip his mask off, then rips her mask off. Close her air. She, he's closing her air right now. Oh, yeah. So the my girl is trying to help and she's like, oh, goodness. I'm out of air. OK, so now wh where's my she he, she's like, I, I don't I don't even know what's happening. The, the guy comes in to try to help. So they're kind of rescuing each other like I'm out of air. Give me my the other. Well, the like, one guy, maybe look at I think he it's, lost his mask because it's not yeah, on his face. So it's, it's it, gone. It, it, it really is gone. Like I was worried. Yeah, about. Look, he dropped his weight weight belt. Which one dropped the weight belt? It's going the so instructor fast. weighed the the dropped the weight belt from the guy in the middle right, so stop, and the guy so on the stop left. That. So the, did the instructor? I, I'm sorry, it's a little bit hard for me to see. Did the instructor take off their weight belt? Yes, of the two guys, not the girl, because the girl I don't is. Care. Yes. Which one? I really wish that somebody would research who this instructor was. If he's still an instructor. He needs to go through some serious retraining. Yeah. It's diver stress and rescue. The instructor is teaching a class about having to deal with dive issues. What happens to a student when you rip off their weight belt if they're properly weighted? We, we teach a skill. It's called an emergency boy. And it's that you're going to start going to the surface. These guys could have been rocketed to the surface. Yep. I mean, he really could have killed them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to even go further and be that dramatic. Do you realize that this instructor could have killed his students by doing this? Yep. Is that anything to do? This is, listen, my reaction is it's really disturbing and it's really wrong. If any instructors out there are teaching their diver stress and rescue class like this still, you need to be reeducated. You need to read the standards of your dive agency. I don't know how the, this instructor ended up thinking that this is the way a, a diver stress and rescue class should go. And sometimes instructors take on um, different types of uh, skills that they kind of exaggerate that have nothing to do with what the dive agency recommended of how it was conducted. Yeah. No, anyway, this, I, this, guy, I, this, this is yeah. out of control. It's crazy, right? So there he goes. He continues to rip the mask, but the mask is back on. Why would yeah. you take? So he's like, mask? "Oh my God, where's my weight?" Like this guy's pulling himself to the bottom to try to recover his weight. He's like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." He's like, "Here's here's your weights." But why would he re-rip off their the, mask? Rip off their mask again? Like All every right, so time? Stop one more time. Every if, time they have their mask on their face, he rips them off. So every it, time. So so they actually, if if this was a skill. They mastered it. They stayed calm and found their mask and put it back on. Yep. Why do it again? Because he's an asshole. 
I mean, there's I no mean, other I just, way to. I really don't have anything positive. There is no other way to be, do it. Uh, people maybe aren't going to like this video of, of this reaction because I haven't seen one correct teaching method yet. Oh, you, it's still we we okay, have more. So far, it's he he's got a zero out of ten. But wait, there's more. I right, keep going. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. All right, so look, he's loosening up the tanks. This is absurd. Look, tanks floating out. Of the other guy, too. Tank band off completely. But your tank is gone. So then this girl is trying to fix the tank. He drops the weights. Rips her mask off. While she's trying to help. She's like, damn, now I have to fix my mask. Can we stop it again? Look, I don't know if you missed it. I don't know if you missed it. Let me let me go back for a second and play this. It's hard to see everything. I just It's so yeah. disturbing. I'll stop. You see the weight bell on the on the on the bottom right there? Oh my goodness. He just like dropping weights. You put your mask back on, he rips wow. it off while you're fixing your mask. He drops your weight again. Like what is that? You know, this is really disturbing and you know what's even more disturbing is somebody posted this, probably the idiot instructor actually proud. Yeah. Check this out. Look at what I do in my stress and rescue class. I want to I want to ask people out there that are experienced divers. Have you ever seen this happen? If you're trying to teach people how to deal with stressful situation, who out there in the comments has seen a diver or divers in your group lose their mask, then put it back on, then lose it again, then have their air also cut off and their tanks loosened and then while your tanks are loosened, your weight belt also fell off and your mask fell off a third time again. Anybody ever deal with that? Because we're trying to teach re real stressful situations, right? That's right. Real I get world. it that somebody may have panicked and they start bolting to the surface. But even in the panic diver, did they remove their mask, cut off their air? Also, they ran out of air and that same panic diver had their tank fall off only to then have their mask removed again and their weight belt fall and nobody handed them air. That's what this instructor saying could happen. This is the worst instructor I've ever seen. I guess I could also win the lottery and I guess I could get struck by lightning <laughs> seven times underwater. Yeah, I guess um, this doesn't happen. Why do you think he can get this? worse? Do you think he can do worse? The only thing this instructor's comment could be back is why well, I'm testing how they would deal with a stressful situation. Right. But you're putting them in such severe danger. It's not reality. Nothing this is about unreal. The, yeah. There's this is no not real. way a dive agency. It, if my dive agency said, I don't see anything wrong with this because I'm an switch. instructor trainer for SSI. Yeah. I'm like, here's my instructor trainer badge back agency. <laughs> I quit. Out. I will never teach for you again. Yeah. Yeah, now, no, no, I, this, is, I, this is ridiculous. I, I dislike this video. They, they should show this on of during not, the IE. Of like, what they, not to do. Do never do anything like this. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad that we're in agreement. Like, you also think, Gus, this is ridiculous. By the way, looking at the M in this guy's uh, strap tells me that they're using rental gear. So wow. No, so not only he's oh, doing goodness. all this crazy stuff, he's doing it in wow. gear they're not what familiar with. What a great point, Gus. Great this is pickup. ridiculous. This is sad. Yeah. Anyway, so the, the weights are in the bottom. He's like, oh, my God, I'm going up. I'm going up uncontrollably. Yeah. Look, he's going up. So he has to swim down to grab wow. his weights. Wow. They, what? I'm, so, I'm actually really proud of that student. Yeah. So he's <laughs> swimming. He's like trying to swim away. Like, give me a second. Let me put this on. The tank's dangling. The girl's still trying to help him. Yep. These students are really uh, true. Tank's dangling. Look at this. This is not. Tank is, is gone. But he comes I'm back. Proud of the students. My reaction right now is, I really give these students a lot of credit. And by the way, one more thing. Yeah. Look at the environment. Right. Does the instructor care about that environment? I, where are they? Because they're destroying. Yeah. Whatever that is, they're they're ripping. Look, he comes to again. Why? Why would he do it again? This is all about the instructor, by the way, everybody. This is an ego instructor. Hey, ego instructors, if you're still out there, just quit. Please save our industry and get out of teaching diving. Re diving, if you're a dive instructor, it's not about you. It's you got to 
I mean, I don't know who I'm talking to out there, but I cannot stand when I see this kind of stuff. It's completely going to destroy our industry. Yep. You can keep going, but I so haven't this seen... guy, this guy is coming to help with the tank that is dangling on his body. And while he's doing that, this guy completely rips his mask off. Then he comes, he drops Did his he weight again? again. I saw that. His weight belt again, with gone. With no mask, no weight. With no mask. Now the weight is gone. Tang dangling. He comes and watch this. What is he doing? Why? Why are you doing this? Watch this. It's like you. Let me unplug your BCD completely Why? and rip it off. He took all the 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 buckles, undid all the buckles in this guy's BCD and ripped off the the BCD completely off his body. What's wrong with this body. guy? Is he seriously? Does he have? Did they? Did, I wonder if anybody ever researched this instructor. This is I think insane. He has, no, I think he has mental issues. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking anymore. My reaction is something's wrong with this instructor. I think he has mental issues. Look, like she, she also doesn't have a BC. So the guy's coming. He's like, he's okay, trying to hurt let me, student. let me strap it. This other guy is trying to help this guy with the tank because he was dangling. While he's doing that, closes no. the air on this guy. No, Look at this. No, no, no. Closes the air something's, underwater. Something. This guy is out of air. He goes to his octo. Out of air, no. I'm out of air. Something's wrong with the instructor, Gus. Seriously, you know what? I think completely. This no, he's, he has mental issues. It, it it is it does happen in our industry. You know, we have to expel instructors at times. You you see him getting written up and they get expelled. Yeah, this is inexcusable. So he gets a, he has to be expelled from the dive industry. This is one of those, and they do teach you when you're becoming an instructor. Like, what are the things that you can do? Yeah, finally. You know, lesson is over. You're welcome, everyone. Like the way he's acting, he's like, "Good job, everyone. You have passed. Congratulations." Yeah, I mean, what the I guys would do like, is I would, I would, I would basically expel him, and I would warn all of the other dive agencies that we have somebody that's mentally disturbed. We do. This guy has problems. There's something's wrong with him, because he got lucky. He got lucky that those three are. They're not even exceptional. I, I don't know wh wh why they continue to tolerate it. I guess they don't know better. They feared him, and they were like, okay, we'll do whatever you force us to do to pass this class. Yeah. That is such an abuse of power. Yeah, that was I don't have anything else to say. It's insane. Every single thing I just saw was wrong. And I agree with you. And Like, like I was saying, you know, they, they teach you what happens if you, you know, do unsafe things you know they can kind of put you on like a Disorient. like a leave of absence kind of thing like they can take your instructor away for a little bit while they try to sort it out do a do a, re, a research about this the situation one. and all of that I would, I would get rid of this one. and i think no but i think that in those Permit. situations it's hard to justify because you don't have the evidence to be able to say like okay this guy needs to not be an instructor anymore we have plenty of evidence for yeah. this guy listen even when we do our panic diver in my briefing i tell them it's simulated and you will not hurt each other. I say, do not rip masks off each other. Do not rip, rig simulate. And the way you'll know that if you got too close to a panic diver in our stress and rescue is if they can simply gently tap you, right? Yeah. Then that means, hey, this panic diver that you just dealt with got too close. But honestly, even a panic diver... You're taught just get behind them, and once you're behind them and you're helping them manage the situation, they're, it's over. You don't keep having them hurt you over and over and over again, right? So that's what he did. They already dealt, inst instructor, with your dumb, ridiculous simulation, and then you kept doing it to them over and over, adding compounding errors. It's just... Yeah sad for our industry i'm glad that um we don't you know we certainly don't subscribe to this at all we would never teach this way we do a disorientation you remember that where we spin somebody upside down safely right. holding their head one at a time and then you just let go and you don't let go you keep your hand as the instructor on them you're just figuring out if they could deal with vertigo so i don't know out there if you're doing this Comment and quit 
or fire yourself from the dive industry. Yep, I agree. And and I think that it's important for people like us, instructors and others, pros in the industry to speak up when you see videos like this, when you see behavior like this out in the open. What would um, you have done if this happened? I did your stress and rescue class. Yeah. Think about it. Would you have felt the pressure, man, I got to pass this no matter what. So I'm going to keep going. Think about the poor students. Like you don't know what you would act like in that situation. The students don't know what they what's don't right know. But wrong. Would, I wonder if, I wonder if you, if you as a pretty naturally, you were great. I remember you, I didn't, you were, you know, able to deal with the skills really easy. Would sure. you have said to me, Woody, I'm done with your class. I'm not doing this. You're, you're being ridiculous. Uh, and I think the answer for most people is unffortunately, no, no, and they would yeah. let the instructor hurt them. That's yeah, how because devoted it, students because are. I think I th and not just devoted, but I, I do think that most students don't know what the standards are, especially when you build a reputation, right? Good point. Like I, I just think about in our in our industry or the type of classes that you and I take, Mel Clark, who's an amazing, I mean, incredible, world amazing class. world class cave diver and instructor. She builds a reputation for very demanding class, not on safe, yeah, but not, not like this guy. People. She's not always, hurting people. They're just very demanding. In, she has very high standards, but she's in control for sure. I don't believe this instructor was controlling those three students. I mean, for sure. As one was That's no right. weights on upside down without a mask and, and air off. He's <laughs> over attacking the other one. I am what? definitely not comparing Mel Clark okay, with this guy. The other for sure. <laughs> remember the one that he just destroyed. That he yes. dropped their weight, took their mask off, and cut their air on. He left them. Yeah. Not only did he make it miserable, he left that person to deal with themselves on their own to go attack another student. Is that control? No. That was insane. No, Mel Clark doesn't do this. Mel Clark is in control of her students at all times. She's this is the, Mel Clark. She's the best she in the world. She literally wrote the book. About no. this one is Zero. Trimix. No, Mel is the best. Cave diving, rebreathers. She's amazing. I'm not comparing Mel Clark to this guy. I mean, they, if I was going to have, I mean, like, but what I'm like, saying is, she's amazing. What no. I'm saying is, if I do take a class with Mel Clark and she's like destroying me with the amount of work, safe and all of that, of course, but she, like, every night That's I different. end up like dead in bed by like 9 p.m., That's I different. would totally just keep pushing, not knowing that. Different. She has a different standard than the industry because some instructors build a reputation. What I'm saying is if this guy has built a reputation locally, and I don't know where this was, that, dude, his stress and rescues are savage. Like if you can pass that class, like you can deal with anything. Like because people build reputations like that. And you know how some divers are like, oh, he has the worst one, the worst class ever, the most demanding but he violated, crazy class. I'm taking that. I know, but he violated, he violated all the standards. The number of one course. standard, the number one the, yes. is safety. No matter what you do, no matter what skill you ask students to do, the general standards of every single dive agency that I teach for, safety of the student overrides anything else. That's right. So if you, there's no way that was safety. No. So Total mess. So anyway, I, I want to know who this guy is. I uh, I just think he should leave the industry. Yeah, maybe he already did. That, I just want to find out uh, who he is. So if I'm anyone sorry, knows. everybody out there, that you had to. I mean, we can't I, react to. Funny I don't ones love this one every week because it's disturbing. Right. Thanks for you know letting me watch it, but I I don't want anybody out there to think that this is still the way things are taught. This is ridiculous. Yes. But there's there's always stuff that we can learn, obviously, from from all of these, even when they're bad like this one. We can learn from good ones and bad ones. Uh, we have received a yeah. few more requests to okay. review other videos. And for two weeks in a row, we have reviewed non cave diving videos. I promise you for the next two weeks, it'll be about cave diving. I'm just thinking about this one even more like the one where he cut their air off and took their mask off and dropped their weight belt. That poor student may have been holding their breath too. They would have, if they were blowing out, because if your reg comes out of your mouth, you have to on the right. way up so right. you don't get an air explosion. Man, if those people even would have went up five, 10 feet, they could have had an air embolism. I, I, I mean, horrible. I just keep on and on and on. I mean, I guess what we learned Disaster. is all the different 
risk that he imposed on them. I'm going to stop because it's so wrong and bad. Yeah. I, I, I'm devastated that I know. this I, happened. We try to do positive videos almost every week, but once in a while. Right, we, well, you got my reaction. We have I to, like, want to fire We this have guy. to tackle these uh, rough videos. My I'll, reaction is I'll you're fired. I hope people enjoy them, though. <laughs> you're fired. Um, no, you're fired. I'm not, I hope there's no remediation. I've no, got no, nothing no. left to help this guy with. Yeah. As Re an instructor. Report to the agency and let him go. Done. You're permanent. You're yeah. Gone. Now, I wonder if this guy's like the owner of the shop and all care. of that. Well, he was going to fire him. He's going to be like, no. The agency. You, all of you other instructors are too soft. The like dive might, agencies. Because he has an ego. Inspire instructors like this. <laughs> egotistical lunatics. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video again, even though it wasn't all I rainbows. Did. I didn't. And uh, you didn't. Okay, no, well, that's my if reaction. You, I if you it. did, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Help us grow the channel. Um, we keep getting subscribers, and the more subscribers we get, the better suggestions we get to yeah, and requests. I love that. Thank you, everybody. Absolutely. So, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for making suggestions and providing feedback. And um, yeah, for the next two weeks, we'll be cave diver reacts to actual cave diving videos. Sounds good. I've, <laughs> sounds refreshing compared to this <laughs> one. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Bye.